assumed it would be on his paintings, but... Or wasn't that just... <laughs> Hey guys, Spooks here, and welcome to Ethel. Now this is a relatively new game, I think it came out with my name is Thomas week. Myrtle. And I think I murdered my grandmother. Uh oh. Well, why did you do that? Game about crashed my computer. Good grief. Game's having a hard time. Whoa. Is this prior to or after killing my grandmother? Check around back. I don't really want to do that. That's normal. In one sec. Okay, that's much better. I don't like when games automatically do unlimited FPS. It kind of breaks everything. Also, the human eye can't even see that many frames per second. I like, can't even process it. So what's the point? I don't know. Well, I think the back door is going to be a no. Without border this up, there has to be something around here I can use to take these down. Does there? And where? So from my understanding, this is a little bit of a puzzle game. But mainly a horror game. So there's that. Oh, I don't want to look in here. Okay. That's... <laughs> yeah, I don't trust that at all. I can't run. So, cool. Hey, an axe. It's convenient. I think it's mouse. Ooh. Oh. Are you Ethel? Maybe I should just, I don't know, leave. Why did I come to this boarded up building anyways? I don't know. That's a question for someone other than me. Is this the ghost of my grandmother when she was young? When she was but a spring chicken? My mouse man, it's driving me crazy. I'm not actually axing these. Oh, goody, I should go upstairs. Oh man, I'm not ready for this. I just kind of realized I'm very much not ready for this. That's kind of cool. Is that this house? Probably. That's kind of cool. Okay. I'm sure this is going to be a good time. And I'm not... Man, I'm jumpy. <laughs> this is a... This is going to be a rough one. Something engraved on the lock. I can't... Well, I wish I could see. You can find me if you try, but I can't be seen with the naked eye. Well, I should probably put on some clothes. Okay, that's a weird kitchen, right? Like, that's just... That's not me. That's, that's not just me, right? This is a weird kitchen. Ah, what? I don't know what happened. Butter. Okay. Well, that wasn't necessarily scary. I really don't want to go upstairs. At all. Are you a hobo?
Mm. I think that's Ethel. She means my great grandmother. Her picture is above. Pa used to talk about her all the time. Did he now? That's inconvenient. Okay, so yeah. Why are her pictures everywhere? Oh, I don't. I don't like this. Man, I don't know why I am so on edge. Oh no. No thanks. I am so incredibly on edge right now, and I don't know why. You look different, but you're not. Oh goody. Just compose ourselves and continue on our journey of happiness. Mm, why is there a chair by the toilet? Please don't be anyone. I'm just gonna close that. This this feels safer. Why am I here? Uh, no. Just a dash washing powder. It smells so good you'll get the puh. Cool. Oh, okay. Why? I can't even... I can read the letter easier than the easy read stuff. In the home of the famous late Ethel Myrtle, with my future wife Claire, she's been nagging me for months to take a trip out here, so I surprised her with a visit to explore her idol's former residence. Despite its in location, I had a connection who had worked for Ethel. Rumors circulated about the grandson's involvement in Ethel's disappearance. Driven mad after the war, I'm guessing. The husband ended up disappearing after the events, and he hasn't been heard from since some things so i can't read good grief what is wrong with me some think he's out looking for his grandson to seek revenge or something great if he's even still alive i would have liked to see more of this place but nearly every door was locked preserving its history claire insisted on respecting the place after i mistakenly tagged up some of the walls oops so he just accidentally opened the spray paint can and shh, shh, shh. stupid I'll try to clean it up before we leave. We're hanging out in the bathroom, smoking and sharing a few drinks. Claire brought her Ouija board to connect with Ethel. Of course she did. She's a bit of a fanatic. She's a bit of an idiot. I never believed in that stuff, but whatever makes her happy. She seems off lately, but I'm glad this trip made her her day. Even though this place gives me a heavy feeling, I boarded up the back door at the request of Claire so that when we leave, she at least has a sense that the place is protected. You guys are the only ones to have actually done anything negative to it also this was in the 50s did they have spray paint future me when was spray paint invented look right there. okay we're going to check out the rest of the place see what we can find okay I don't really want to open the door, if I'm being honest. Because I uh, better just leave. Oh. Why, why did I buy this game? I don't actually know what door that was. No. 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 There's gonna be a cheap jump scare in here and I don't like that.
I'm just gonna close that. Okay. Why am I here? This seems like oh cool. This is always good at thing. Also, cassette tapes weren't around in the fifties. Granted, I don't know how old that letter was. So. Marilyn Monroe found dead. Well, that's unfortunate. There used to be a whole lot of nothing. Oh man, look at these accidental tags. Such a clumsy goof. I feel like I was supposed to hear something on that cassette tape, but there was nothing. It also didn't look like there was actually one in there. Oh, hey, look, another letter. Ooh, 1949. It's been a tough journey, but I'm grateful to have my grandparents by my side when I had nothing and nobody else. I've been crashing on this couch for a few months now, and my back is constantly reminding me of the discomfort. But it's still better than the cold sidewalks I used to sleep on. Becky, I know you'll never read this, but I'm sorry that our marriage fell apart because of my battle with drugs and alcohol. I'm proud to say that I've been clean for two years now, slowly but surely getting my life back on track. However, it's not all smooth sailing. My grandmother's health is declining, and it's heartbreaking to witness her struggle with forgetfulness. Oh, great. She tries to write new stories for her books, but her memory fails her after just a few sentences. We're doing our best to keep this from the press, but it's a battle we're fighting silently. Despite her health issues, we, she still gets up every morning at 4 a.m. like clockwork to make us both a fresh cup of coffee. Those early mornings spent together on the front porch, sharing coffee and conversation are precious moments I'll always cherish. As for Pa, he's been working tirelessly lately. Our connection, once strong during my younger years, seems to have faded. He appears lost, distant even. I hope that our shared experiences of fighting in the wars would bring us closer, but it seems to have driven a wedge between us instead. It's a disheartening realization, but one I'm determined to navigate through. Overall, each day brings its own challenges and blessings. I'm holding on to hope and grateful for the family I have, even amidst the struggles we face. Okay. Hmm. There's a... Not really a lot going on. I need to get some clothes for my eyes. Also, I'm gonna close this door. Like, I know nothing's gonna realistically come in. That's, no, that, that, that's creepier closed, actually. I'll open that. Oh! This is a key to the foundation. Pa used to twirl around his finger any time there was an outage. I'm so, wait, what? Key to the foundation? I'm confused. But I made progress, and that's always kind of scary, to be honest. Hello? Why am I saying hello? I should be saying goodbye. But I have a key. He did nothing, it would seem. Oh, what joys await me downstairs. The music? It's four digits. Nifty. Mm. Uh, I didn't like that. Oh, I didn't like that at all. Why do I have a key? Oh, 
I did not. Did did not like that. Not one bit. Nay, nay, I say. I have a key to the foundation. How firm a foundation? That's the question. Why would I want to turn the flashlight off? Why is that? Actually, I forgot what. Mm, nope. Mm -mm. My light went off during that jump scare. I didn't do that one. At least I don't think I did. If I did, that that's kind of funny. What do I do? Oh. Got a fuse. But when I knew where the fuse box was. Nothing else in there. Oh, this one. Two, de two decades spent in this dump. Each creak of the wooden floorboards a reminder of the monotony that surrounds me. Our grandson's arrival, though celebrated by others, only amplifies the dull ache of boredom that has settled into the very bones of this place. The walls seem to close in as the routine of these isolated woods stifles any sense of excitement or purpose. In these moments, I find my mind wandering back to the days of war. A time when every heartbeat mattered, and the thrill of the unknown eclipsed the mundane existence. The idea of returning to the battlefield with its chaos and danger seems almost preferable to the dreary routine of life in this homestead. In the midst of Ethel's illness, my truck's rhythmic purr and the art of panting, art of, oh, art of painting become my lifeline, guiding me through the emptiness that surrounds me. The canvas becomes a sanctuary where unspoken thoughts find expression. Locked away in a room only seen by my late mother, the keys to my peace rest with her. Oh, of course they do. That's why that room has a shovel, I bet. Perhaps it's the yearning for purpose, for a challenge that transcends the mundane. As I put pen to paper on this anniversary, the ink seems to carry the weight of this unspoken desires. Did I close that door? I think I closed that door. I'm so confused. Hmm. Oh, whoa, oh, there's another path. I don't like that. Uh, oh. Is this the foundation? It sure is. Awesome. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why? Why, though? Why? Why is this here? You look important. Oh, I hate this so much. I gotta remember, I can't run, so therefore I most likely can't die. And the fuse box, yay. Oh, I know something's gonna happen. Grief, why am I so on edge? I haven't been this on edge in so long. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, that running sound? That wasn't me. Why do I need light? I mean, I'll take it, but... Is that a necessary step? I don't know. Okay. 
I have light now. Are my eyes not naked? Nah, they're naked. Oh, nope. I don't really know what this did for me. A whole lot of hoopla. Well, where's the lights to in here? Let's not do one because they have a fireplace. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, right here maybe? There we go. Much less spooky. Until they all turn off at once. And then I die. Oh, I didn't turn that one on. Another letter. This morning was unexpectedly turbulent. Grandma accused me of taking her pills and reverting to my old ways. It stung to hear those words, especially since I've been clean and proud of it. But I understand that her old age can sometimes play on her memory. I didn't touch those pills. They were probably left on the coffee table. Forgotten. The confrontation left me feeling disheartened and misunderstood. However, Grandpa surprised me by offering to spend some quality time together later tonight. He suggested playing a few hands of poker and letting me vent about the situation, like those cards on the table. I'm sure he'll bring up his favorite 1914 story, the year he was drafted into the war. Crazy old man. Anyway, it was a welcome change from the tension with Grandma, and it'll... You are so loud. It'll be chance to connect with him again, especially since we haven't spent much time together lately. He's always locked away in what he calls the art room, but I've yet to catch a glimpse of it. He's incredibly secretive, keeping everything under lock and key. The other day I caught him painting the walls, but strangely, there was no paint left behind. Perhaps those paint fumes are starting to get to him. Anyway, I hope Grandma can find it in her heart to forgive me, even though I know I'm innocent. Being falsely accused by someone I love hurts deeply, but I'll try to maintain patience and understanding. Family's everything, even when you're mistaken. Is this the paint room? Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. I, oh, I, I freaking hate that so freaking much. Oh my gosh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that so much. No. That was almost as horrifying as in The Conjuring when they're playing the clap game. Oh, not cool. To whom it may concern, my name is Thomas Myrtle, the grandson of Ethel and author Myrtle. I have no... Yeah, that's author, not Arthur. I have no reckon... No... Recollection of last night's events, yet I fear I may have committed a grave act. Awakening beside a pool of blood in my grandmother's room, with her nowhere to be found. Our senseless argument from yesterday morning seems to have spiraled out of control. I cannot bring myself to face my family, so I'm deciding to vanish. Pa, I never intended, to, intended harm towards you or Grandma, and I wish you were here to have stopped me. Grandma, my love for you is immense, and I'm deeply sorry for believing I have changed. You were right all along. Oh man, I really, I really hated that. That was horrible. Whispers from the art room. Ethel sat by the window, her gaze drifting past the falling snow to the door at the end of the hallway, the entrance to Arthur's sanctuary. 
his art room. It beckoned to her like a forbidden realm, a place she had not dared to enter and could not in years. The art room held a mystique that both intrigued and perplexed Ethel. It was a space of secrets, a haven where Arthur retreated to unleash the depths of his creativity. But there was more to it than just painting. Ethel often wondered what mysteries lay hidden within its walls. She imagined shelves lined with jars of pigment and brushes, canvases stacked against one another like silent witnesses to Arthur's artistic journey. But what drew Arthur to his art room? Time and time again, sorry, what drew Arthur to his art room time and time again was not just the act of painting, but the solace it provided. It was a place where he could escape the demands of the world, where he could lose himself in the strokes of his brush and the swirls of color on his canvas. Ethel understood this, perhaps more than anyone else. She knew that Arthur's art was not just a hobby, but a lifeline, a tether to his true self in a world that often seemed indifferent to his dreams. And as she sat by the window, watching the snow fall softly outside, Ethel couldn't help but wonder what secrets lay buried within the walls of the art room. She longed to unlock its mysteries, to understand the depths of Arthur's soul that he was so willingly poured into his work. But for now, she could only wait and wonder, her heart heavy with the weight of unspoken truths. Why did Pa keep that room so secretive before anyway? I should look for the key. Yeah, it's buried with his dead mom. So that's cool. Um, I'm starting to think... <gasps> what are you? Smeagol! I don't have the ring. I threw my mouse. The only reason it is not behind my desk is it is connected with the cord. Okay. Can't die. Can be attacked. By Smeagol. Need to find the art room key, I think. Yeah, it's buried with his dead mother. I need a shovel. Who or what was that thing? Was he, like, taking care of that thing in the art room? I wonder if I need to, dang it, probably need to go reread that letter. <sighs> Where was it? Was that the one in the bedroom? Keys to my peace rest with her. Do they? I've got nothing to say about that, I guess. Locked away in a room only seen by my late mother. The keys to my peace rest with her. Oh, no, no, no. It's not in her grave. In the ashes. I forgot the grandmother's ashes were on top of the vent. Gosh, I cannot believe. Like, the creature was more silly looking than scary. But I did not like it jumping at my face. Hey, great grandma. Just gotta check something real quick. Thanks. I don't know why that's so dark, but I'm not gonna investigate. So I really hated the. the pss. Despised that. Key, so that's good, I guess. Okay, you little gremlin. Wait, what? This one? Oh. Oh, this is actually an art room. I wasn't expecting that. To be completely honest, I thought there was going to be something evil in here. I'm getting a layers of fear vibe. To 
Tonight marks the final stroke of my brush within these walls, as I ready myself for the eve to come. The canvas before me depicts a man dissolving into the ennui and weakness that surrounds him. The tape recording is safely secured in my study, but I'll be long gone before the years of another ever hears it. It was everything you get into that office, do you? Yeah, I, I feel like he killed the grandma and just like stuck me by it. There's gonna be something outside the door. Oh, hey, key. There's gonna be something outside the door. You want turd? This the office? No, it is not. Did I pick up the key? That seems an awful lot like an office. Yes, I did. Not my problem. I'm just gonna leave. Just do something? I remember this being a picture of Grandma. No, my flashlight was broken. Oh. You were right. There was a picture of Grandma. And Grandmother stands between her two sisters beneath my great-grandmother. Good for her. I love this paint. There's even fluorescent paint here. I need to find the code with my not naked eye. Am I gonna get like a black light or something? Because those totally existed in the 50s. Squirt down. <laughs> oh. Okay. Didn't I come and look here, like, twice, and there was nothing I could grab? You have to be kidding me. Yeah, of course. This means I'm probably gonna go have to go past something spooky to get to said paintings. So I'm gonna go this way first. light from outside. I don't want to go in his office. I guarantee it's not going to be a good time. This just reminds me of the part in Insidious with like the family. This stupid code. <laughs> she told me to run, and I don't love that. I assumed it would be on his paintings, but there wasn't any. <laughs> oh, that made my jaw catch up. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I have a corded mouse on. Ethel, I hate you. She's gonna 
I'm just gonna keep doing that. Eventually, I'll run out of jump scares because I can't find clues because I'm dumb. But they say that was me talking. Please. <laughs> One. Oh, I really got to be that close to him and looking right at him. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, oh, oh. Nine, one. I got to be in weird spots. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Like Ethel. Oh, oh, oh. oh! I hate you so much. Oh, I hate you so much. Give me your number. I'm stuck. Uh, no, I'm stuck in the stairs. No. Oh, I'm fine. Um, except I can't. Grab you. You're not a real number. Okay, well, that's. Doesn't seem right. Oh, yeah, the box. Yeah, that makes, that makes sense. Oh, gosh. I just don't understand what Smeagol has to do with anything. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, oh. You stinky. Okay, something's gonna happen. Not working. Nineteen fourteen, the year he was drafted. Psst. Nope. I can't move. Oh great, I can't move. I just can't use. My flashlight. Quit smoking in ten days. Great. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to leave. Hey, Ethel, are you waiting out here for me? I bet you're waiting somewhere. Oh, I hate this so much. That wasn't even, that wasn't even that scary. Just freaking still image of her going past the screen. Duh. Stupid. <sighs> Clapping? Congratulations. You've stumbled upon my tape, where I'm certain I'll be six feet by now. Here's the truth. I snuffed out my wife, Ethel Myrtle, with my own hands. Craftily, I pinned the whole sordid affair on my feeble grandson. 
Oh, Tommy boy, you were a breeze to deceive. My hands may be dirty, but yours will bear the weight of the blame. You see, when you've got one soul dependent on meds to numb the pain, and another reveling in them for twisted delight, pitting them against each other is child's play. Just drop the pills next to the addict's pitiful bedside. I waltz in, the virtuous savior. Tom and I indulge in a deceitful game of poker, and as he rises to use the head, I sneak a generous dose of sleeping pills into his tea. Sweet dreams, Tom, you gullible pawn. Once Ethel was dealt with, I moved his body into her quarters. When he comes to, I'm sure he'll believe the terrors of the war made him do such a terrible thing. He won't suspect it was me. Little does he know, I had him dancing to my malicious tune. I've got him fooled. I fed him a load of lies, making him believe I'm off on some extended work trip tonight. I'd kill him too, but unfortunately, he's my cover. Here's the motive. <coughs> I've gambled my life for this damn country. Yet, who gets the accolades? Not me, but Ethel. Maybe once I erase her from the scene, they'll finally acknowledge the greatness I've achieved, the masterpieces I've crafted. And if they still don't, well, this confession will cement me as the legend who silenced the renowned author Ethel Myrtle and got away with it. I turned my audio up and I'm debating turning it back down. But no. Ethel's gonna be out here. I'm not stupid. Of course it's coming from the attic. Why wouldn't it be coming from the attic? The attic's so fun. Pa, are you still up there? There'd be something. I was prepared for that one. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. When you get to the end and turn around, there's gonna be something there. Yup. Oh, frick, hi. Sorry to have bothered you. Oh, great. My dearest Max. Oh, Claire, why the heck did you come back? It's hard to put into words the turmoil swirling within me. I need you to understand that my love for you was genuine, but the path I've chosen was driven by desperation. Losing my mother... Oh, excuse me. Losing my mother at a young age left a void only Ethel could fill. Her books became my refuge, guiding me through life's trials with their messages of hope and joy. The road I've taken, deceiving you to enter her cherished haven was not fueled by malice, but by a sense of duty. That doesn't really make sense. Why did you need him? Just just do it yourself. In this life, I find it hard to find a purpose. Even the prospect of motherhood couldn't anchor me in purpose. Yes, Max, I'm three months pregnant. I owe Ethel everything. With this book of spells and your sacrifice, I'll protect the place she once called home, and where those cherished books were born for all eternity. You once said you'd do anything for me, and I believed you. So I slipped poison into your drink, knowing you'd understand. You look so peaceful now in that bed, and I promise to protect your soul. You may rest while mine will remain here forever. Very well, Max. Thank you for this chance, even if it means goodbye. Okay, so is it Claire that I'm seeing? Also, literally why? This is like a telenovela. Random bits of suspense and story. Great, I can't wait to go downstairs. Sure, there's nothing but happiness and joy. Okay. Who's gonna hop out at me? Well, I'm sorry to have bothered you. Hi, Claire. Turn my flashlight off, and I don't think she liked that. I think I died. Did I die? It seemed like death. 
bad ending. Was there a good ending? What? Guided by an unyielding curiosity, your journey led you to a risky exploration that ultimately sealed your fate. Upon entering the attic, the symbolic Pandora's box was opened, allowing Claire's meticulously crafted spell to search forth. Now, the consequence is absolute. Anyone stepping into the house is incontrovertibly bound by the intensified and untrue. The truth remains veiled, and your name is forever tarnished as the man who succumbed to madness and tragically ended his grandmother's life. Man, now I gotta go through and there's a good ending and just not go into the attic. Attic was bad. It's a baddick. All these years. How many I need it? I should leave. Is that coming from the attic? Don't know, don't care. I'm out. You may rest now, Grandma. Nope, I don't feel safe. I'm safe. Thomas? Cool. Grandma? Thank you. That was cool. That was worth it. That was worth doing that again. Freed from years of unfounded guilt and remorse, you've unburdened the weight by revealing the truth. Your grandmother may now rest. After delivering the incriminating tape to authorities, your name was cleared, allowing you to emerge from seclusion. Your grandfather, found drinking at a local bar in a small Kentucky town, faced justice and will spend his remaining years in prison. He was 73 years old. Yet, a lingering mystery endures. Who were the woman and the child? Was it your guilt taking a tangible form, or does a more complex story lie beneath the surface? In the end, what prevails is the certainty that the elusive truth has been uncovered. So that was the baby. That makes sense. That makes sense. Honestly, a really good game. Uh, it's definitely worth buying. So I would recommend checking it out. It's a lot of fun. The, the scares really get you. Hopefully you have a better... You do better with, with the puzzles than I did. But I'm going to let this developer's corner play. Uh, definitely take time to read it. It's pretty cool. But thank you guys all so much for joining me. Until next time, stay spooky. Toodles.